Welcome to Friday. It's the 22nd of January 2021. As we head through today and as we head into the upcoming weekend, snow for some of you, not everyone, but some of you are going to get snowed on over the course of the next three days and into parts of next week. We have a Pacific storm system to impact the region through the weekend. Some areas of the western United States that have had very little moisture this winter will finally get some, especially California, Nevada, parts of Utah and Arizona. Unsettled weather through the western United States through all of next week, although it looks like most of the weather is going to be along the west coast into the Great Basin as the troughs coming in are going to kind of want to park themselves over the west coast and not move through at least in one piece but in little pieces through the rest of the Rockies and High Plains. No sign of severe cold moving in yet. It's staying to the north for now. Cold air is moving into this side of the northern hemisphere, but this pattern is going to hold it back for a little bit longer, at least in this part of the United States. Do expect the forecast to be changeable. We see a lot of variability in the models. So uh, we'll take the forecast kind of in three to four day segments. Going out a week or more is going to be really tricky. Hopefully Monday we'll have a better idea with a more defined forecast in the long term. The upper level pattern today shows a nice little storm system moving into Northern California. California here in the coming days going to see some beneficial rains and mountain snows. We have a big pocket of cold air up here. In fact, uh, they had temperatures this morning up here below zero this morning in parts of the northern Corn Belt and the northern plains. So that cold air we've been talking about is making its way onto this side of the region. But the southwest wind flow ahead of the Pacific low going to keep the real cold air coming to stay away. However, notice these wind barbs. These winds are coming in from the northwest and there is a little bit of a cold surge coming in tonight and tomorrow and Pacific moisture goes up over that colder air and that's what's going to be producing some snow this weekend. Then by Saturday afternoon the low just goes due south along the California coast keeping us in southwest wind flow but this will throw moisture this way and it will throw moisture into the mountains of the Intermountain West. We've got the next little low coming in behind it that's going to come in along the west coast as we get into early next week. Now this is the snowfall forecast through Monday. Notice we've got this swath of snow right here. This is mainly coming tonight and during the day Saturday. This area right here is a really good bet to pick up some snowfall. So central, southwestern Wyoming, east central Wyoming, the mountains of central and southern and southwestern Wyoming, the Wasatch Front, the southwest mountains of Colorado, going to see some really good snow. They need it there. Good snow in the Sierras. Snow for a large part of Nevada and the higher elevations of the southern Wasatch and the mountains of Arizona. Areas here that just have not had much moisture. Here's the snow hole east of the Continental Divide. We have really seen that all winter. So yeah, this little patch of snow right here may come in Sunday night and Monday. We'll need to watch it. But for the front range of Colorado, southern Wyoming, the eastern plains of Colorado, still not looking at much. But along and west of the divide, for you skiers and snowmobilers, this Pacific flow of moisture coming in from that low, going up and colliding with that Canadian air coming in from the north, is going to bring some of you some winter weather this weekend. Here's the cold air. Now this is for Sunday. You can see the really cold air. And this is some sub-zero air right here. It's being held back by that southwest wind flow from the Pacific. We talked about this in a podcast earlier this week. It's a battle between these air masses. And right now for the Rockies in the High Plains, you can see the green and blues. It is going to be colder relative to normal, but nothing out of the ordinary for January temperatures. Now, if we go further out for Monday, we see this next trough comes south along the California and Pacific Northwest coast. But what's happening is these systems aren't coming in in one piece. They're breaking off. This little piece will break off into the Corn Belt next week. In fact, late Sunday into Monday and Tuesday could have a major winter event here with a pretty good snowstorm. But these systems are coming through the Rockies in pieces, not held together. And so you're just not going to get a big storm. But this Pacific flow will continue to bring snow to the high country and rain 
to this part of the area right here through the early parts of next week with little pieces of energy coming into the divide, but nothing that's going to really hold together. Going out further, this is for Wednesday night and Thursday. There's the low going through the Midwest. We have the next low coming in, but notice we have southwest wind flow coming into the region. So that's going to keep the Arctic air at bay, give us some small weather systems, but no large ones, as the storms are going to be want to be more parked here instead of more towards the Four Corners region to where you're going to get a bigger high plains and front rain storm. It's just not in the cards at the moment. Now, eventually, these Pacific troughs will send one through that will become a larger storm here. We just don't see it yet, at least here over the next five to seven days. This is by next Sunday. We do have a little bit of a wave coming through next weekend that may be a snow producer on the plains. Look at all the blue up here. Here is the really, really cold air. It's up here, it wants to come south, but that Pacific continues to keep pushing it away. Now we're talking the end of January here. So I think through the end of the month, the severe Arctic cold will stay away from the Rockies and High Plains. It's going to occasionally touch up here, touch up here, but not really have a big push south. Now when we look at this, this is for next Sunday. Certainly that potential is there for it to come in, but right now, just a big question mark if it does in early February, something that will watch for you in the coming days. You can see by that same time frame on the 31st of January, there it is from Greenland to Alaska to the Prairie Provinces of Canada, some really, really cold air is poised up there. But will it come south in early February? Well, doesn't look like it's going to make it in January, so we'll have to move it back to early February if it comes in at all. But something to, to keep an eye on, because when you get a lot of cold air up here and you get a really strong jet stream coming in, you're going to create some type of weather for the western United States. Have yourself a great weekend. For those of you that like the snow and if you get it, enjoy it. Just drive safe. Have yourself a